Okay, this tab is the sales tab, and this is a very important tab in the workbook because this is where you're going to put a lot of your results when you sell something, and this works in tandem with the inventory tab and displays the results on the profit summary tab, item summary and charts tabs. So obviously everything that comes here is really important to your, your success and how it's gonna work for you. Any column that says formulated, such as these, where it says formulated here in the cell, you do not need to enter anything in those columns. The spreadsheet will do the work for you. If you type something in one of these cells, you should back out of that particular entry because it will destroy the formula that is in that cell, and now it will no longer pull that info from the other parts of the workbook that it needs. So let's go through this column by column. Column B is where you will put the date that you sold an item. Very simple, just the month, the day, and the year, the date that you sold the item in question. Column C, you can see here, is not visible. Now it's only hidden because it is a formulated column and there's nothing for you to enter in it. It just records the month and year of the particular item that's sold. That's it, and is used elsewhere in the sheet. Column D is your SKU column. Now this is where you put your stock keeping number, basically the number that you've assigned to your inventory item, and when you put this number in, all kinds of other things happen. The next six columns all key off of this SKU number. So when you put in, item SKU number one, for instance, it goes over to your inventory tab, it finds SKU number one, and it puts in location, the item number, the item title, the cost of goods sold, the date that you listed it, and the platform you're selling it on, and fills all those in for you. You do not need to enter any of these columns, E through J, assuming you're using your stock keeping numbers over in your inventory tab, it will pull all the info over for you and print it right here, which is really cool. And, and as we talk about the inventory tab, we'll talk more about how to format these particular items in these columns. But for now, that's all you need to know about that particular column. Column K, you can see, is a manual column. This is where you're going to put the price the item sold for. So this does not include the shipping because the shipping revenue, if there is any, goes here in column L. That is where you would put what you charge the customer for shipping, if any. Next up is the shipping cost, which is what it costs you to ship the item. So whatever it costs you to get the item out, the cost of your label and so on, that's what you would put here. And last but not least is column N, which is another formulated column, so you do not need to enter anything here. This merely takes your sale price and your shipping revenue adds those together and subtracts out your cost of goods and your shipping cost and tells you what your net is. Now, this does not tell you the net that takes into account the selling fees or any other expenses you have in the cost of selling that item. It's only giving you what revenue it can see given the cost of goods, the sale price, the shipping charged, and the shipping cost. So that's the sales tab. And it's very simple, I think. If you just don't overcomplicate it, if you have any questions about it, please post them in the video down below in the comments and I'll be glad to answer them.